Put on your detective caps and grab your sidekicks because, Watson, there's been a murder of crows. Hello, Internet, and welcome to another episode of Gaming Strategy. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at another Pokemon, and this is Murkrow, and here are his stats. Uh, sliding up here on the screen, we're having 60 HP, 85 attack, 42 defense, 42, 85 special attack, 42 special defense, and 91 speed. And with that out of the way, we're going to jump over to Pokemon Showdown. And take a look at some move sets. Now, in terms of his stats, he's not going to be able to do a lot on his own. And he's more so just going to be a really good prankster, simply because of some of the moves that he can get, only he can get, in terms of him being a prankster and getting those moves. So we're going to be running him with an EVO light. I really don't see another item that can take its place, uh, just because seeing that he's an unevolved Pokemon and having that EVO light boosts his defense and special defense to 63 makes him a little more playable and it gives him the biggest boost. As for abilities, uh, this this setup's using Prankster. Uh, his other two abilities are Insomnia and Super Luck. Neither one of those do I really see a really good reason to be using simply because Insomnia and Super Luck they don't really do anything for Murkrow. Moving on to attacks we have Roost for that 50% heal. We have, it also removes his flying type, so electric attacks aren't going to be super effective against him anymore. And it does get that prankster boost. We have Mean Look, which obviously keeps the opponent from switching out. Toxic for that poison damage. And Parish Song, which no other prankster gets. Now, Prankster Parish Song works really well, and it really shows what Murkrow can do, even though he's not a fully evolved Pokemon and is technically part of the Little Cup because he has such as of his low stats. But in any any game, when you're throwing out a Parish Song, regard because his speed stat doesn't matter because of his Prankster, when you're throwing out the Parish Song, and your opponent has three turns to switch out or their Pokemon dies regardless of what they do it makes them play a way that they really weren't planning on playing and that's that's kind of the idea of the Parish Song Prankster is that you throw out that Parish Song and they really they have to either stay in and die or they have to switch out and lose any kind of flow that they had going okay, because when they switch out you can if you can predict the switch out you can get the top you can get a free toxic in if you you can also get that uh, another parish song on the new pokemon coming in if you really want something gone you can mean look it parish song and then roost until you till it dies And with the Mean Look Parish Song and running it on a Murkrow, people don't expect you to switch it out unless it's going to die. And even then, they're like, okay, this is just kind of that, that prankster Pokemon to make me play a way that I'm not wanting to play. So if you keep it in until that last turn with the Mean Look on and your opponent's over there, they're going to try and attack you again to try at least because they know that there's there's nothing that they can do but that's when you switch out and their Pokemon dies and your Murkrow's still alive and you got a free switch in if you switch it on a type that their hit was not was not very effective or completely immune for some other movesets on Murkrow that I was looking at you could go your just a standard uh, Taunt, Ruse, Torment, Toxic just to mess with those uh, buffing Pokemon because what setup Pokemon really wants you to taunt them. And those Pokemon that, that they were, they like to spam that same move over and over again. 
they really don't want you to talk to torment them. And a lot of people really don't see those coming. And what's really great is when you have a Pokemon that has one attacking move and some buffing moves and a healing move and you taunt and torment. They're not going anywhere. And then you get the Toxic for the extra for that extra poison damage over time and the Roost for the sustain. And then for the final one, I was a little move that I was messing around with. We have a Tailwind, Sucker Punch, Toxic, and Roost. Toxic because Murko's not going to, regardless of what attacks you put on him, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage. But the Sucker Punch lets you go, well, lets you at least get, get an attack in if on that first turn. The Roost for the sustain, the Toxic for that damage over time. But then the Tailwind lets you set up that Tailwind fairly reliably and gives your allies speed, d doubled speed for four turns. So for four turns, if you send out your sweeper, you're pretty much going to go first as, lo as long as they don't out-priority you. Which is great because, I mean, who's going to want to deal with a double speed anything that has a decent speed? In, in terms of attacks though, he does get some decent coverage throughout, but really and truly, I mean, they're mostly normal, dark, dragon, and flying types attacks. But he don't really need it. He's 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 going to be run as this, this prankster, and you're going to want to run. You're going to want to run this parish song because th th this is, this is where he really shines is being able to throw out that parish song every time. And that gives him the ability to make your opponent just not play the game they want to play. Because you're throwing out that Parish Song and they're not able to do anything about it. Because Parish Song hits to protect, it, so it doesn't really matter. And it's a sound move, so it also hits through Substitute. Which makes which makes this great because it doesn't matter what they throw out at you you're parish songing them and you get the free either you get free switch ins you cancel out whatever buffs they're using and the other thing is is a lot of people I've noticed is seeing that parish song doesn't seem to be run a whole lot when you have a pokemon that that's like that's doing the whole buff and then baton pass thing that if you mean look them they tend to baton pass out to keep their buffer alive, but what they don't realize, a lot of people don't realize, I've seen that, I've seen this number of times, is that Parish Song baton passes too. So they baton pass into something, and then it dies because of Parish Song, because they, they baton pass on the last turn, or, and they were like, okay, I'm going to baton pass out, and then the new Pokemon had, baton, had the Parish Song on it, and then it dies. Which is hilarious. I've seen, I've seen it happen a couple times. As for the the IVs and e, I, EVs and IVs, obviously we're you're on try and get everything to 31. But for EVs, I kind of like this 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 really odd like spread on most of my builds. I didn't, I have a. Uh, you can either go with the 252 in HP, 252 special defense and then a little bit in defense or you can go with the max defense and you, you could always just you know drop this down go with the max defense and instead of the careful nature you could go with like uh... where is it at the impish nature for that extra defense or you, you could stay with the careful and keep the special defense high give that special defense a little bit of extra boost or or go with the um, the calm with max special defense, max, H max HP. But I've seen that this, this this right here works really well with th these kind of staggered EVs where you have special defense with the special defense nature, with a with a little bit more in defense to, to kind of round them out, and then everything else into your HP, this gives you a little bit more sustained survivability seeing you're roosting with these, if, w whether you get hit by physical or special attacks. 
and it kind of makes him a little more well-rounded. But overall, that's kind of how you use Murkrow, and it's really effective because it, it really plays some mind games with your opponent, and that that's kind of that's kind of what you want to do is you, you want to you want to you want to mess with their heads and throw out those toxics, get things for for the long run, and you want to have that pair song to either take out something that that your team isn't prepared for, or to make to make them with the mean looking pair song, or to make them switch out eventually, or if they don't, just to kill something overall. I have noticed that Murkrow usually survives most hits and is usually a two hit to three hit KO. And with Roost, that makes it if, if it's a two hit KO, then Roost is making it now three hits and then four hits and then five hits. With if it's a three if it's gonna three hit KO you, it's just not gonna KO you because you're gonna heal back to max every time. And I mean that, that's about it. That that's that's how you want run Murkrow. And I would like to thank everybody for watching. And if you have any comments, to to place them in the comment section below. If you like the video, I would encourage you to like and subscribe because there will be more videos coming soon. If you have any suggestions, also place those down below. I I, I would like to have suggestions on Pokemon that I may be able to to make builds for. I do have some already planned out, but that does not mean that uh, I won't take suggestions because I've actually had a couple of people suggest some things to me already, and I will be doing videos on those in the coming weeks. So, thank you everybody for watching, and have a good day. Zyudraku, signing out.